Let me tell you over a mashal from the Chofetz Chaim. And I want everybody to listen very clearly to this mashal because it's, every single person needs to hear it. There was a family that lived, says the Chofetz Chaim, an almana with children outside of a town in a hut, freezing cold in the winter, no fire, no wood. One night, the cold was so bad, they started to look for wood. And they found the train tracks. And they decided, there's not many tracks. What will happen if we pull out one piece of wood? Nothing. So they took out one piece of wood, went back home, made a fire, slept the first night in a long time. In the middle of the night, the train came. And the train derailed. Everybody got killed. Only one piece of wood is missing. Says the Chavetz Chaim. There are 613 pieces of wood on the tracks to bring us from here to Shamayim. 613 mitzvot. That Kaddish Baruch gave us that those are the tracks to take us, that takes up the derech. So what do we say? 613, and what will be if there's only 612? What will be if one I don't do? So I can take out one track. You know what happens when you take out one piece of wood? The train derails. This mashal of the Chavetz Chaim touches everybody's heart. Because all of us suffer from that machshava. Everything I have to do, everything I have to do, it's enough, I do so much. I have to go another step, another thing I have to be my kabel, another thing I have to do. I can take out one of the tracks. But what happens when you take out one of the tracks? The train derails. We live in very dark times. In very dark times. But from time to time, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us a smile, so to say, to remind us that He's here. I want to tell you over two stories that happened in the last five weeks, six weeks, something to that effect. One in Eretz Israel and one here in Manhattan. And I'll tell you first the story of Manhattan. There was somebody that was sentenced from a Yid to go to prison in Rikers Island. I don't know if you know, and you should never know, you should never have to know what Rikers Island means. But Rikers Island is a very bad sentence for a person. It's Gehenim on this world, in every which way. Ruchnius, Begashmius, spiritually, physically, mentally, whatever you want. And we tried, pressure was done to change him. And the judge said, no. There is a Schwarzer. His name is S E T H, I don't know how he pronounced it. And he has a way to change these things, he has an in to change these things. He wouldn't change it no matter what. Because the judge said that he's going to write us. What did HaKadosh Baruch Hu do? Listen to our story. It's out of this world. Someone in his family passed away in Carolina. He came back in the big heat. He was standing outside of Penn Station with two suitcases. Waiting for a taxi and no taxi came. Came two yeshiva bachram, 15 and a half years old, nobody knows who they are. And told them, we'll carry your packages for you. So he said, it's four blocks to my house. Yeah, we'll carry them to your house. He came to the house, he said, okay, thank you very much. He said, no, we're carrying it up to your apartment, to the third floor. They carried it up to the third floor, he took out a $20 bill for each one. He said, no, we don't take money, they do good for you. He walked into the house, he called the lawyer, and he told him, tomorrow he's getting out of Rikers. I never saw such a thing in my life, I never saw what an Orthodox person is. 
Do you realize that the story is impossible in the Chateva, two 15-year-olds in the middle of Manhattan, in the middle of the day by Penn Station? Malachim. That's where they are. HaKadosh Baruch Hu sent two Malachim, two boys, to go and save a person. And that's Israel. A few weeks ago, someone was bit. Avrech was bit by a poisonous snake. He went to the doctor in Ramat Gan, a specialist, and he was treated for it. Ten days later, he had to call back the doctor to ask what's going on, what are the, what are the results. The doctor said, I was never a mamin, I never believed in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Today is the first time that I believe that there is a HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the world. You had in your kidneys a terrible cancer. The poison of the snake killed it, burnt it. Two stories in the last two months, less. That's a smile from a Kaddish Baruch Hu. I run the world. You could see that I run the world. I'll show it to you.